Today we're making a Santa topiary tree. Just need three or four ornamental balls and a base. In this case, we're gonna use an old tuna can and cover it in felt. I like to reuse anything I can. So in this case, we're using a tuna can. So it measures one and a quarter inch wide. I'm just cutting the felt to cover the base of the can. By using this tuna can, uh, it saves you money. You don't have to buy a base for your topiary tree. And I just feel good keeping one thing out of the landfill. Well, it was pretty easy to do. Just gluing on the felt and there you have it. Your base is done. So I picked out all red balls in varying styles and I'm just using the largest one as my base. So I'm just gonna put glue along the inside of my tuna can and then set the ornament in. So next I found this really pretty velvet red ball. I'm like, oh, that is so pretty. And that's what inspired me to make a Santa topiary was actually that ball. And I'm like, oh, that's so pretty, but I need to cut the end off. So I just used some plastic snips. Oh, whoops, <laughs> got away from me, but <laughs> uh, it did eventually snip off the end. It wasn't even that hard. And I had these red uh, ornament balls. They were just leftovers from another project. So I'd like to utilize any leftovers I can. So I just cut the end off of this one as well. I'm going to make a Santa hat. I want to jazz up the Santa ornament that's on top. So I'm just going in and out a running stitch along the top just so I can gather in the top of the hat. And the, the little Santa hat that was on the ornament was kind of orange and I wanted it red. So uh, I just thought I would put a better hat on him. So I'm just putting glue all the way around and then I will slowly just press the felt um, right onto the glue and just carefully fit it in so I don't cover up the white. And uh, it worked pretty good. Just kind of take your time, work your way around, but don't worry about the hot glue drying. It, it takes a moment or two, so you have time to finish setting the felt in place. So once I get around to the back, I just cut off the excess. So I just cut a little piece off the uh, snow blanket I have left over from other projects. And basically I'm just gonna stick it in the top, add a little dab of glue so it stays in place. Now you just find the two ends of the thread on that running stitch and uh, you pull both the ends and it'll tighten up the top of the hat. And then just double knot it to make it secure. And you may be wondering why is that hat so tall? And that's because I want to bend it over and it looks a little bit floppy and cute. So that's why it's quite a tall little cap. So I just add a little dab of hot glue, press it down and it stays in place very well. So whoever heard of Santa with no beard, I just thought, man, this guy looks funny. So out comes the snow blanket again, and I'm gonna cut out a little beard and glue it on and fix him up. So I just add a little dab of glue, and then I just add on that little piece of, it's kind of a circle shape, really, of a snow blanket. Stick it on, and you know, if you don't like the shape of it, just trim it up with the scissor after. I just left mine the way it was, and I thought, well, it looks pretty realistic to me. So there we have a little beard. So I asked Robert to help me out here. I have a real hard time centering balls. I know I'm kind of like sight impaired or something, I don't know. But uh, I guess he's my center. Anyway, he's just gluing those balls on to make sure that the, they are straight and centered for me. So um, first we're adding on just in sequence of their size, so the velvet one, and then this pretty little sparkly one. So the, for this project, all you need is hot glue, and you don't need any dowel running down to the center. Hot glue is all you need. In fact, you could probably get away with regular glue and just glue up uh, your ornaments yourself. So this is a super easy project. Anyone can do it. And look at that, isn't he cute? This project is super easy. I hope you give it a try.